Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I am JoYo19 and today we're going to be doing another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is how to make a Minecraft thumbnail on a program called Minimator. Now this is not necessarily going to be too hard, it's going to be a bit easier than the Blender version and if you are new to Minimator you should be able to get through this fairly easy. Uh, so let's get started. So just create a new project, I'll call mine uh, Minecraft thumbnail tutorial. You don't have to do this, of course, but it is recommended just for a bit of uh, organ organization. You can create an author and description, but I won't. You can change the folder, but I won't. And here we are. Now to move around the screen, you can just hold left click and then move your work camera around. For now, what we need to do is we need to go up to the top left hand corner and open this Minecraft workbench. Now, since this is a thumbnail tutorial, we're not going to need to worry about the timeline or frames. Um, we're just going to need to worry about posing and items. So, to start off, let's add a camera. Let's add a camera first. So, we click on the camera icon and it creates. Uh, so, the camera is now wherever our work camera is facing. So, it's of course there. We can see a little camera icon there. It's similar to the Blender version. And down in the bottom right hand corner, you may have this configured differently, but there will, it should appear somewhere. We'll move this, yeah, we'll move this there. The active camera will appear so we can see where it is uh, looking. And if we move it about, it will update per frame. So let's just keep it there for a moment. We don't need to configure that just yet. Let's go back up to the workbench and we'll click on this little Minecraft skin here. Now, it right now looks like a Steve. Thankfully for Minimator, it has an inbuilt system which will allow us to change its skin. So, the Minecraft is fine, the variant is fine. Let's just go down to Browse. This is where I keep uh, some of the skins that I've used in the past. This is for a thumbnail I made for a Minecraft SMP I play on. I've got a few of my friends on here. But today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my own skin. So I've got Joe My Joe My Joe here. And it has the outer layer. I've got a few complaints from the Blender tutorial, from the Blender tutorial, saying that it was only one layer. Well, thankfully, Minimator is built in to uh, come with the outer layer, so that's great. Now we've got our skin here. Uh, so this skin will, of course, look different for you. But for me, I'm just going to quickly move this down so it's touching the grass. Move it down a bit more. You can left-click these, by the way, and then it'll just um, obviously just click on the arrows and rotation locks and all of those to uh, manipulate it. If you hold right click by the way, you can move around with WASD, it's similar to Blender. Let's move the camera now so that we can just get a basic framework of where we want our thumbnail to focus on. So we can just rotate the camera by selecting it here, look at the selected camera in active up there. We can move it down a bit, move it up a bit, move it down a little bit more and then move it in front. Great. Now, we're not going to be doing anything too complex today. We don't need to worry about lighting since that's built in with Minimator. I've got the uh, outer layer set to a Minecraft sky, uh, which is good because if I quickly select the background, I can actually change the time. So I can manipulate the lighting to be more realistic. I'm going to keep it simple though. But if you want to change that, please feel free to. So let's pose our character. Uh, all we need to do to pose our character is to left click a segment of the body once we've already selected. So double click basically. If I select, great, it's going to select the whole body and then just click an armature. So for this case, I'll use the uh, left arm. Now we can use the rotation to move it up. Look at that. And we can use this cyan square to move up the second segment. How cool is that? It's much easier than on Blender. So let's say that I just want my guy, my little skin's hand to be up here. And we'll say that we want this other hand to be a bit like this. So he's trying to pose for the camera. Now, if you want to add an item or a sword or something like that, it's easy. Just go up to the workbench here, click on here, and we'll add a diamond sword, great. And we can, of course, move it about as normal. Now again, you can customize this however you want, but this is just how I'm doing it. Now we've got the lighting done, we've got the items done, we've got the posing done, and we've got our character done. What's left? Well, finally, we have left is to do the background. Now, Minimator is very cool in that you can actually import blocks or structures from your own world and put them into your scene. 
I'm not going to be doing that uh, in this tutorial, but I will uh, gladly upload another one if you guys request it. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to be going through a basic outline of how to get the blocks in, how to liven up your background a bit. For, so for this tutorial, let's go for some stone bricks. I think that would be great. So just go into the workbench, press on block, and then we can here search for block. Now it's pretty small, but you can search for the uh, for your block here. Let's go for stone. Up, oh, no underscore stone brick so stone bricks here it is press create and here it is uh, you can rotate it of course you can move it about now we're not going to be moving it too far back we just need to get now if you want to duplicate this object it's easy you can either press ctrl d or you can come down here to the frames uh, to the timeline sorry and just click duplicate and it will duplicate so let me just set this up here now, if you want to duplicate multiple objects, that's easy as well. Just hold shift and then select all the blocks you'd like to duplicate. Control D them all and just move them. And that's our background done. Now, if you want to save your image, it's easy. Go up here and there will be a little button with a mountain that looks like an image. It'll say export the current frame to an image file. Just press on it, and then you can choose the resolution, you can choose to remove the background, which is very useful in case you want to uh, cre uh, create your own uh, background in Photoshop or something like that. I won't be doing that uh, for this tutorial, though. You can include hidden objects, so that's if you hide an object, not necessary here. High quality rendering, which is also good, so we'll do that. We'll press save. Now, I don't want to save it in my Blender stuff and checkers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder in my documents. I'm going to call it Minimator Project Frame. You can call it something else, and then I'm just going to put, yeah, Minecraft thumbnail tutorial works well. Press save, and just like that, the image has been saved. Now we can go up here and press view, and it looks great. You will unfortunately see that there is an icon down here saying created with Minimator. Now that is because I don't have the paid version. You can get rid of that by paying for it, but there is an easy way to get rid of it, which I'll show you in the next part. So to get rid of that pesky icon, all you need to do is get to your file, get your photo, sorry, load it up in a Photoshop, now it should configure automatically to the settings of the document, but I recommend if I go into image canvas size, I recommend these settings. So you can just pause the video here and copy them here. The width is 1280 and the height is 720. So to get rid of this, it's pretty easy. Just press J and it will automatically select the spot healing brush tool. Now let's select the layer just so it actually works. Uh, when you when you first use it, you will see that uh, that uh, uh, icon appear up there. Don't worry about that. Just click yes, and it will convert the layer to a, an image that you can actually edit. So let's increase the brush size a bit. We'll increase it to maybe 83. Yep, that works well. And just draw by holding left click with the spot healing brush tool over the minimator.com section. And just like that, it's gone. And it's barely noticeable that it's been edited at all. Now, then just save your image and you're done. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.